up to that smell that you get in a hospital, you know, that kind of alcohol, weird smell, and oh, man, I had no idea where I was. I had no idea, then I was barely getting my eyes open. And I felt real woozy, and I could, couldn't distinguish anything. And from here on, that hospital stay is, is kind of in and out, blurish kind of thing. But uh, I came to find out that I had had some kind of surgery, and I was going to need more. And uh, I had died twice come back for some whatever reason and then uh, turns out long story short I had uh, they had removed five cancerous polyps during the term of that first day and uh, I remember my youngest sister was in my room well, I guess they moved me to a room and that I was in and out of consciousness they had you know kinds of Demerol or whatever the drug that you get and I woke up and she was there. And I remember I had to go to the bathroom really bad. She said, You can't go anywhere. I said, Well, I gotta go. And, she's, and I tried to get out of bed, and I remember it was just some real bloody mess all over. I left for everybody. And it was kind of embarrassing or whatever. Um, and I remember one morning, a uh, nice young guy, a uh, black orderly, came in and he said, Moving day. And I said, I'm like laying there all up to all kinds of bags and whatever and he says uh, we gotta go I said well why and he said well somebody else needs this room and I said well take them where you're taking me and I'm fine right here leave me alone he says uh, no nope, you gotta go so the next thing I know my bed's rolling out and uh, we're going down the hallway and I'm seeing people going by and whatever and get on the elevator and on that for a little bit and then get off the elevator we go zigzagging down the hallway again and I see this sign go overhead it says oncology I go wait a minute we're going the wrong way aren't we and he says no we're going the right way 